started. So today we have a very exciting conversation planned, and we're going to talk about the power of love, singing, and healing. We've got Alexia Chilam with us. She's a singer. She's a songwriter, and what do I would say? She's in tune with the universe. And also, we've got Jalpa with us. This session is brought to you by Sipping Thoughts by Humans for Humanity and the Cosmic Heart Gallery. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Sukirti Gupta. I'm one of the co-founders of Sipping Thoughts. Sipping Thoughts is a multi-platform media company that was co-founded by me and by Meeta Gurgudia. It was set up keeping in mind the tagline, Real Women, Real Thoughts. We wanted to create a no-judgment platform and create a network of women for women and, of course, the men that have supported us. And we are available on Facebook. We are on Instagram. You can check out our website. There's lots of lots of interesting content. I'm sure you'll find something that will keep you engaged. We've got Jalpa from the Cosmic Heart Gallery, which she has created a beautiful space that is open to young and emerging artists, as well as veterans in the art, photography, music, film, printmaking, and sculpture. The gallery has hosted over 200 unique events that have been dedicated to all things about art and healing and has established itself as a one-of-a-kind spiritual gallery. Our third partner is Humans for Humanity, which is a non-government organization which is headquartered in Dehradun in India. It was founded by Anurag Chauhan and is widely known for the social work, particularly with regards to menstrual hygiene. The WASH project that it started has received over, has helped over 1.5 million women in six states over the last five years. So they're doing a fantastic job. But today we are all about music, the power of healing. And I think it's just gonna be a very, very interesting evening. We've got with us Alexia and a little bit about her. I mean, I think this I'm paraphrasing from her, trust, key key word, no plans for the future, go with the flow. These are not exactly catchphrases for today's calculating, media savvy, and self promoting generation of musical artists, but a way of life for singer and songwriter Alexia. She's got eight albums and that she's done in her productive 12 year journey, and she has ridden her way of trusting and practicing life from a very different angle. And as we get into the conversation, we'll hear some of her music and we'll hear a lot about her also. And in conversation with Alexia, we have Jalpa, and she too wears many, many hats, and she enjoys a very multidimensional journey. She's a businesswoman, a farmer, an artist, a curator, a social worker. She's also one of the handful of reconnective healing foundational practitioners in India. Jalpa founded the Cosmic Heart Gallery, which is a space dedicated to offering exquisite art collections. She's also the vice president of the Western India For Foricultures Association. She's also a philanthropist and she cl works closely with BPW International, the largest organization in the world empowering women and the NGO Humans for Humanity as their state director in Maharashtra. Jalpa was recently recognized with the Women Empowerment Principles Leadership Award by Asia One and the United Nations Development Corporation. So first of all, welcome, Alexia, welcome, Jalpa. We are so excited to have this conversation. And before we get started, I think, Alexia, we'd love to hear a little bit about your connection to India because you, are, you have deep roots that go far back here. <laughs> yeah, so my great um, grandparents are from South India in Chennai and um, they moved to Mauritius uh, which is where my grand, my great grandparents were born, and my grandparents, and my dad was born in Mauritius. So, and and you know, the Hindu culture has been carried, and the Tamil culture has been carried through uh, to Mauritius. Um, and my mother is uh, from Cyprus, um, and uh, I was born in the UK. So I've lived in Mauritius as well. So I've had a strong. I've been to India. I've had a, obviously have a strong connection to India. And when I went there, it was quite funny because you know people look at me and they start speaking to me in Hindi. But I didn't understand because, you know, it's not been in my upbringing. Um, so that was always quite a funny thing that was happening when I when I was traveling around India. So well, welcome. I think we have a lot of guests here from all over the world today. So we're very excited to hear you sing and hear and learn, I think, about what is this 432 hertz. I think I'm so curious about it. Jalpa, I know I ask you this, but what is reconnective healing? Oh, well, Sikipi, you know, when we're talking about reconnective healing, we're talking about frequencies. Now, when we're talking about art, sound, music, you know, what Alexia is going to do today is take us on a journey of frequencies. Well, reconnective healing is actually a gateway to accelerated life progress. 
It's one of the most dynamic areas of energy healthcare in the world, which consists of energy, light, and information. And when these frequencies entrain our system, you know, our cells start emitting a higher level of biophotonic light. They actually reorient the person and put them into their center, into their full potential. And it's like taking you to the next step of your own evolution. You know, it really leads to a lot of life progress, a lot of pathways open up for the people who usually experience the sessions. And uh, we're not diagnosing or treating anything. It's a healing designed by the intelligence of the universe. And the mm. practitioner is also in receiving mode as we practice these healings. Uh, yes, and it's backed by 12 international studies in science. So, you know, in that sense, it's quite exciting, you know, even to satiate, uh, you know, what a lot of people like to understand, uh, you know, what's happening. And uh, there are a lot of theories and you know, studies which prove that this is causing a shift at a cellular level. So let's get started. I think everybody is excited for this conversation and we're waiting to be mesmerized. Her voice is so beautiful. <laughs> and you can see she's already set up with a guitar. So we're going to have lots of live music. So over to ready. you, Shalpa. Take it away. Yes. So, you know, it gives me great joy to be here today and in conversation with the lovely Alexia Shalin, which you can, all, mm. you can all see. Alexia, you do have a beautiful smile, something I haven't mentioned before. Oh, and I could describe her as a smiling angel that beckons each of us to go on a journey of introspection, growth, and love through her music. Alexia wears many hats. She's a gifted singer and songwriter, an accomplished self-taught guitarist, and a kundalini yoga instructor. Her approach to music is quite simply based on her own life lessons, her own experiences, and letting go of constraints. She travels around the world, singing at various festivals, retreats, and concerts. What's interesting is that Alexia composes some of her music even inspired by mantras from the Hindu, Sikh, and Buddhist traditions. She's fascinated that sound is an ancient healing tool and shares songs that are written by herself, inspired by her own journey through life. So on that note, a very warm welcome, Alexia. I'm excited Hi. to have this conversation with you. Yeah, it's going to be great. Hey, Jalpa, how you doing? Good, good. good. You know, I'd love to start the evening with one of your healing songs to set the stage for this special. Yeah, life. let's do a little clip of it. I'm not going to do all of it because it's actually 10 minutes long and that will put yeah. you in a deep, you know, you'll be gone for the rest of the hour. Okay. But I'll do a little, I'll do a little snippet. Lovely. <clears throat> my body, mind and spirit are healthy my body mind and spirit are healthy my body mind and spirit are healthy my body mind and spirit are healthy I give thanks for the health of my being. I see my cells and atoms heal. Every day I bless the health I have and I say Thank you for my healing. Thank you for my healing. Thank you for my healing. Thank you. Thank you, Alexia. That was beautiful. Thank mm. you. You know, life is about being happy and well, and we started on a note of gratitude for help. Mm. Yes. Mm. And it's uh, so powerful. Exactly, exactly. You know, and before we dive into all things musical with you, uh, I'd love for you to share with the audience, you know, with all of us, uh, what led you to harness your voice as a medium of expression? How did you choose mm. a musical career? 
Mm. Well, I didn't so much choose it. I mean, it started as a hobby when I was at university at uh, 20 years old. And then um, I, that's when I first learned the guitar, started just learning songs that I liked and started writing songs. And then I got into um, uh, yoga and meditation and, you know, kind of uh, uh, that uh, exploration and uh, started as a musician doing yoga courses and stuff, started uh, writing mantras, writing the music to old mantras and you know, then it kind of just took on a journey. A friend of mine was like, hey, let's record uh, some of your mantras. And we recorded it and then people loved it. And I was invited to yoga festivals and retreats and such. And it just took a journey. You know, there wasn't a point where I was like, oh, I really want to be a songwriter, you know, or a singer. I mean, I always loved music, of course. Um, but it kind of, I guess it, that was the journey I was meant to take in my life. You know, when I was a kid, I was so sporty. I wanted to be a footballer or a basketball player, you know, so <laughs> it took a different direction. And, you know, I go with the flow of, of life and journey. I've never wanted to do anything as a, uh, um, this is the only thing I'm doing. And it is challenging because people like to know what you're doing, you know, what type of genre, what type of style, what type of. So what music do you do? And I never know how to answer that question because it changes. You know, I've done albums that are mantras. I've done albums that are affirmation songs. I've done just, you know, love songs, all sorts of different pop songs, folk songs. So it, it, it changes as I change through life, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and all I'm doing is it, it, it sharing and expressing things that I learned, things that have helped me in my own progress, in my own peace and relaxation. And then it comes through in music. Yes. That's what I mm. wanted about you, that you always allow life to present itself, you know, to take, lead you to the next step. Yeah. Yes, and yeah, your yeah. music is reflecting that. That's lovely. Yeah. And, uh, you know, what uh, I found is your music is very unique and it mesmerizes and transports one. You know, I'm sure a lot of people uh, feel the same. And mm. I'd love to understand what led you to discover such a different form of music and philosophy. It's very different mm. than mainstream music. Mm. You know, I think it's, um, I think any artist or musician or, or, or creative person yes. will know that creativity flows through you, yes. you know, and it's, um, it's not something that you do outside of yourself. So it accompanies your journey through life, you know, Absolutely. so my journey has been one of curiosity and, and understanding things and learning, say, about quantum physics or, you know, you know, hearing stories, people really can heal themselves, you know, sometimes miraculously and, and um, or through meditation or the power of the mind and the power of the thought. So that then, you know, those discoveries as me, my personal life then comes through when I'm being creative, you know, so then when I allow the space for the creativity to flow, it has these elements with it. Lovely. So it's translating mm. into your music in different ways, everything that touches you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. I've also gathered that you've been exposed to a world of diverse cultures, you know, musical mm. styles, languages, and right mm. from having an Indian Mauritian father to a Greek Cypriot mother, you know, how yeah. has this all impacted your music and your style, your creativity? I think probably in the sense that, you know, that my music is so varied, you know, I've had such a different influence of cultures, of languages, of living in different places. I've lived in many places that, you yes. know, it, it we're, we're influenced by the mu you know, by our surroundings, by the things that come through to us. So, you know, uh, you know, I'll have a song that sounds very um, one style and then another style, you know, and then I also sing in different languages, which has its own. Um, I mean, I can share with you a little song if you like, but this is this is Spanish, which I I I, um, I lived in Spain for six years and, and learned the language and uh, have a song that's half Spanish, half English. Lovely. And this was inspired by a book of Paolo Coelho. I'm sure you've heard of the author. Yes, yes, um, of And uh, he wrote a book called The Witch of Portobello, which I read and was inspired to write this song about uh, uh, women and the uh, power that women have that has often been in the history in the past of women has been seen as uh, crazy, you know, and, and, uh, and uh, but, but we see that coming through as the, as the, the energy of the world shift is to a more matriarchal uh, energy. I think it's beautiful. And this song is kind of about uh, um, that. So I, I can share a little bit with you if you'd That'll like. Lovely. Lovely. Yeah, lovely. yeah, it's lovely. it's called um, AI Samor. Lovely, thank you.
She walks the land with such courage. And she walks the land with such grace. Hey, I spy him interactions Alexia is that you describe your work like a musical toolkit you know mm. like a tool for self-expansion mm. and you know your music has played a role in helping so many people with their inner mm. process right mm. like for somebody they might pick up a book of Eckhart Tolle for others they may enroll in a yoga class but music mm. can play a big role in bringing an inner alignment and shift mm. right so is there a message that you would like to spread you know through your soulful music and the lyrics I mean they're so powerful I'm sure you have mm. people coming back to you all the time saying how it's transformed and touched their lives. Mm. Yeah, and I think what's um, the way that my music has taken its journey is um, it's sort of like, you know, there's so many things that you can go to, like you said, like books or talks and, and uh, courses that you can do that that uh, that give you tools to to help in your process of, of living a peaceful uh, life and more relaxing. and because I'm a songwriter, those things that I learn then comes through with music. So then it kind of like helps people with their, um, their journey through, but in a musical way. That's, you know, that's why I said to you the other day, kind of jokingly, it's kind of like a musical toolkit because it's kind of like, you know, reading that book that will help you, but listening to music so you can have it on the go. Um, you know, for example, I've done some affirmation stuff about being grateful and the attitude of, you know, giving thanks and, uh, for anything for the little for the little things you know and um and that for example can can start your day you know and, and a, as a reminder because music is so powerful you know you'll be humming a song you're like where did that song come from you know and the, music is so powerful and so connected to everybody that for me it's like wow if it's so powerful and you're singing stuff that is that is helping people to to allow them and guide them to their own power and their own strength and their own inner guidance and their own journey and yes. giving them the tools to really be the full expansive beautiful selves that they are yeah. then for me that's you know that's wonderful yeah. um yes. yeah yes can i invite you to sing one of you uh, you know maybe the song of the gratitude yeah sure yeah. Come on. I'm grateful I am free I'm grateful for the love that surrounds me I'm grateful I am free I'm grateful for the love that surrounds me I'm grateful I am free I'm grateful for the love that surrounds me grateful for health I'm grateful for wealth I am grateful for health I'm grateful for health I am grateful for health I'm grateful for Thank you. 
thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Gratitude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. No. I, I first discovered your beautiful music in the documentary, A Million Steps mm. to Love by Sandra Kose. Yes. And for those of you in the audience who don't know, this is a film dedicated to the theme of love and documents the journey of Esmeralda Hesh and 13 Dutch women who walked the holy path all the way from the West Bank of Palestine to Jerusalem in the name of love. And you know, Alexia, your music has given the perfect backdrop to the film and the wondrous mm. journey depicted. How did you feel when you first saw the film and the audiovisual exhibition that I curated based on this film? Oh, and it was such a joy. Song, of course, would you say, sing up a song? Say again? So, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll sing as much as you like. <laughs> it was really beautiful to, to see the documentary. You know, Sandra had contacted me about uh, using the music for the documentary and uh, I knew a little bit what it was about. Uh, but when I saw it, it was just so, so beautiful. And really, it was just, it was so fitting, the lyrics and the journey and the story and the um, the imagery, you know, it was just everything about it was so beautiful. And I feel like it was really, all the elements were meant to be that way, you know, the, the, the story of Esmeralda and her journey, um, the beautiful women that joined her, the filming and the amazing, uh, you know, cinematography that Sandra did and all of that and the music you know it really really was beautiful and it was such it was really it was so lovely to see you know and to hear the music i was beautifully surprised you know i was like oh wow this is amazing you know yes and that's why yeah. you, when i was curating the exhibition i asked sandra to you know reach out to you and you know uh, yes have you yeah. seen the visual exhibition I, I have a little bit yeah 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 oh, yeah okay so I'm going to invite everybody in the audience to see the film and, uh, you know, the exhibition. Oh, the film. Yeah, of course I've seen that. Sorry, yes. I got confused yes. with your question. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and a big hug to Esmeralda and Sandra, who are also part of the audience today. Yes, thank you. Oh, cool. Hey, Sandra <laughs> and Esmeralda. Yeah. So, so can I invite you to sing uh, The Power Is Here now? It's one of my favorites. Yeah, this one I'm going to um, sing the full song. So, you know, I invite you to just relax close your eyes if you want um just let the music take you Ooh. Trust all, let the earth hold you, take care of you, and nurture you. Ooh. Ooh. The power of love is here now. The 
power of now is here now. The power of you and me is here to create magic on earth. The power of love is here now. The power of now is here now. The power of you and me is here to create magic on earth. Let the water wash away your tears let the fire burn away your fears let the wind blow into your life such faith and trust oh let the earth hold you take care of you nurture you all oh, the power of love is here now the power of now is here now. The power of you and me is here to create magic on earth. The power of love is here now. The power of now is here now. The power of you and me is here to create magic on earth. Let the water wash away your tears. Fire burn away your fears. Let the wind blow into your life, such faith and trust. Oh, let the earth hold you, take care of you, and nurture you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sure everyone in the audience has you know, mesmerized in a soft, soft space. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, one take about your music is definitely its ability to heal, you know, to calm a person down. Mm -hmm. I think uh, we've all experienced that, you know, with you live today. And uh, I know that you record some of your music, you know, in this special mm -hmm. piece, your 432 Hertz. Mm -hmm to be mathematically resonant with the vibrations of the universe and uh, you know I know many people in the audience would love to know a little bit more about this 432 hertz from you and you know mm -hmm. it's fascinating for us and mm. how you chose to record your work in it some of your work in it you know yeah so I first came across this frequency back in I think it was um, I'm like what year are we now it was something like maybe five or six years ago and um, I was uh, recording a song that was in Quechua, the language from uh, 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 a people in Peru. Okay. And uh, we were using this bell in the, in the recording. Okay. And in the studio, we, we, uh, you know, the guy was getting the sound, the microphone of the bell and whatever. And he said, oh, wow, this is really interesting. This bell is tuned at the frequency of 432. Now, this bell was quite an old bell. It must have been more than 100 years ago, maybe 150 years ago, an old uh, bell from one of the shamanic tribes in Peru. Wow. So we were all really fascinated. We're like, wow, what is this? I'd never heard of 432 before. Like, what is this frequency of 432? Yeah. Um, so just in that moment of recording with the bell, we were like, well, the bell's in 432. And someone in the studio had heard that, oh, yeah, that's a great frequency or something. So we just decided to tune everything to 432 oh, yeah. um, for that recording. Um, and we did that there and then. Um, and the way to tune in 432, so it's kind of, um, uh, how would I describe it? So when you tune an instrument, uh, say you tune ABC, right? Do, 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 for example, right? No, yeah. I don't think anything. Um, in 432, it's kind of like all of the frequencies slightly lower. So the three notes are a tiny bit lower. Okay. So it's not that any of the one notes are low. It's kind of do, 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 
Do, do, do. No, that's a semitone. I can't, can't quite get it right. It's very slight. It's a very slight change of frequency. But instead of being la, 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 it's la, 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 la. You know what I mean? So it's a tiny bit lower at the whole of the frequency. So with the guitar, um, I have this little tuner here, and hopefully you can see. Let's okay. see if you can see. I that, um, you can demonstrate how an instrument is tuned, if it's possible. Yeah, so this little tuner, it, uh, exactly. This, got this little tuner, it's tiny. This is the, this is the new technology of today. Okay. You can't even see what you're doing. Okay, so this, uh, uh, this little tuner here, I don't know if you see at the bottom, you can see the green lights, and then in the bottom corner, oh gosh, I turned it off, hang on. There you go, 432, right? Yeah. So that I've chosen to tune everything in four three two. So now when I go to tune uh, one so of the strings, the tuner, and then you attach the instrument. Yeah. So now the tuner is, is it's attached to the guitar, right? And so now if I want to tune the E string, yes, I can tune the E string, okay. and it's tune and it's tuning itself in four three in the hertz of four three two so then each string okay. i will tune to its string which is mm -hmm. a e but then the whole of the frequency is tuned to four three two oh, so okay. this is quite i mean to tune certain instruments is easier than others like with the guitar i mean some tuners don't even have this possibility i have another tuner here which doesn't do that you know okay. um but certain instruments you can't i mean with the piano you probably it would be a mission to tune it to four three two because yeah, that's it, you know somebody sent in. Can you tune the piano? Ah, yeah. So you know, to, I mean, to tune the guitar, you know, you you just move one of these okay. uh, things, <laughs> and it's much easier. But with a piano, as you know, tuning a piano in itself is you have to get a professional tune, you know, piano tuner to go in there and tighten all the. So that would be a bit more tricky. Also, for example, um, yes. always... uh, a trumpet would be difficult, you know, wind instruments, because it's already tuned, you know, you don't tune the, 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 the trumpet or the clarinet or the saxophone. It would be much harder to find that frequency, whereas a string instrument, a violin or a guitar or a cello or bass, or, would have been much easier to find that uh, frequency. And then, of course, there's electronic frequencies, which you can just, you know, put 432 in, there you go. All your music's 432. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, uh, can I uh, again, you know, request you to play something for us so we can all experience the power of this special four three two hertz frequency? Uh huh. You know now. Yeah. So this, uh, uh, I'll, I'll play the song that I was uh, just talking about with the, with the bell that I first wrote. Okay, that's um, in the film as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's also in the okay, film. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Chamama, han pue kenti, han pue águila, han pue pachamama, huira cocha, atun son colos que eros, muna y son co, otorongo. Pachamama, 
Wiracocha, Atun son colos que eros, Mona y son otorongo. Shamanic, right? And it's really, it's the song. Yeah, yeah. Alexia, yeah. a lot of people are asking what language was that song in? That was in Quechua, which is um, a language from a region in Peru. Um, I was learning about the culture of uh, some Peruvian shamans at, um, at that time. And um, I was going to go to Peru, and a friend of mine was uh, said, Hey, why don't you? write a song in Quechua um, and I don't speak Quechua but I um, the vibe of that song is a little bit similar to Kapara's here now in that it touches along uh, and talks about the elements of the earth and the fire and water and the power of different energies because in the um, in this shamanic line we learn about the energies of the earth and how we're all made up of uh, uh, the, uh, the energies that surround us universally on the planet and um, so it's taking certain lyrics uh, that talk about the sky and the earth and the moon and uh, uh, animal symbolism um, and mixed with this song, which I wrote. Uh, I wrote the chorus staring at a fire before I'd even come, you know, before a friend suggested to write the song. It was, uh, I wrote the... I wrote that when I was uh, staring at a fire one day so you just don't know how the, the music's going to come through and oh I, oh actually doesn't it's not a word it doesn't mean anything i made it up it's not uh, uh it, it's not translated it, that particular word is i was just singing into the fire you know so um whether that was some wisdom coming through i don't know <laughs> Lovely. and you know we all find inspiration from your music alexia and uh, actually, you know, you like you mentioned the fire for this song, but I'm quite curious to know where you find your inspiration from for your songwriting. Yeah, so, you know, I mean, inspiration is an interesting thing because it's not, I don't find it so much as something inspires me. Of course, everything can inspire me, right? Like yes. everything, an ant, a conversation you see people, people sitting on a bench, uh, the wisdom you learn about the universe or, or power is here now. Like, everything can inspire you, but it's more so much when you're in inspiration, when you are um, feeling the inspiration, then anything can be of inspiration to you. So it's no, it's not so much like, oh, if I'm alone, then I'm inspired, or if I'm on a mountain, I'm inspired, or if I'm looking at a sunset, I'm inspired. It's not so much that, but it's more, uh, it's more just a case of um, when I'm in my body, it's like I get this sensation it's really interesting when I'm, I know when I'm about to write a song, it's like this feeling that comes over my body and I'll pick up the guitar and I just know that, that something's happening and I will always um, press record on my phone to record whatever that is, you know? Um, and so, you know, the inspiration, like I said, it can be about uh, love, it can be about uh, things that I learn, it can be about so many things um so it's not so much a thing that inspires me but more so much when i am in my flow when i'm allowing myself to be uh, a vessel as it were for the inspiration to come through and in my case musically and vocally um yeah. then i'm i'm inspired do you see what i mean yes so it comes from within that's so beautiful yeah 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 I, ca I can't force writing a song it's really hard for me to write a song about something about oh let me write a song about that or let me it just doesn't work that way I mean I've done it a couple of times and it is fun actually it is a fun creative process yes. and um, I have written some good songs that way it's yes. not uh, it's not the only way is what I'm saying like yes. you know the inspiration is so different and also I'm just speaking from me like people are different musicians are different creative people are different they might need that particular time and space to be creative you know 
um, and uh, yeah. everybody works differently in their creative space. So it's about tuning into your own into your own guidance of how you are creative. What's the best space or time or way way to be to allow yourself to be creative? Yes, yes. So the void mm. are you flowing through the uh, the vessel like? Yeah, probably, but not so much empty. I mean, I think it's really hard to get empty. I think that's such a beautiful concept, but it's like, how do you get empty? I don't, you know, it's like thoughts are just like constant. You can go from one thought to another. How many thoughts have they been proven per second? It's like a million or something. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'm exaggerating, but a lot of thoughts per second. So I, yeah, like, yes, to be, um, but you know, sometimes as well, when you're angry, you, uh, you know, you can write great poetry or when you're, frustrated about something or you you feel the injustice of something you can write a song or a poem or a book or anything you know so um it's not so much like being a, le waiting till you're totally in peace to be creative at all either you know um yeah. but just following your own guidance of when you want to you know how do you feel when you want to write and you know so sometimes you're sad sometimes you're heartbroken and you you're, you're gushing your heart out in a song or sometimes you're happy so it's it's a range. It really is a range. <laughs> Thanks. You're translating different experiences into your work, actually. And uh, so, you know, say that again. I said you're you're translating different experiences, emotions into your work. You know, spontaneously. Yeah. I would say then. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, you know, your work has always been described as a cross between Nora Jones, Dar Williams, and Tracy Chapman, right? Mm. But it would be interesting to you know which artists are close to your heart, and you know. Mm. I mean, I grew up listening. Like, I love Tracy Chapman. I grew up listening uh, to the Beatles. I love um, Simon and Garfunkel. I think they're brilliant. Um, you know, the Cranberries. There's so many bands that I listened to when I was a kid in Mauritius. You know, I grew up in Mauritius and our radio access wasn't that, like there wasn't a lot of music that we got coming through the radio. And, you know, so it was the main things, uh, the main artists at the time. Um, uh, Bob Marley, you know, there's there, there's a lot of music. Now I listen to, I mean, to be honest, I don't listen to a lot of music myself maybe because i create music yeah. i listen i love listening to dance music and earlier on you know getting ready i had the headphones on and just dancing around and dancing around the place just because yeah. i love listening to dance music you know that's i love dancing i love uh, having fun and um yeah so and, and also you know it depends what mood you're in I, for me it depends what mood i, I can really want to listen to something very soft and relaxing or i can really want to listen to something going crazy and put on bon jovi or whatever you know and um yeah it's it's a journey you know there was times in my life i was really into uh, uh reggae music there's time when i was really into folk music there was a time when i was really into country music there was a t so, uh, so it's uh you know we, we, we you know we all change and we go with that flow but uh I think those kind of artists, you know, Tracy Chapman was a big inspiration. The Cranberries singer was a big inspiration because they're, you know, singer songwriters like me. And it was just so cool. I was like, wow, that's so cool. You play guitar and sing. I want to be like that. You know, yeah. that's how I got into guitar I was, you know, my friends were playing guitar around the campfire and I was like, wow, that's so cool. I want to play the guitar around the campfire, you know, teach me a song. So, <laughs> um, you know, yeah. I play with the audience here today for the conversation. I, I, you know, I asked Alexa, I said, would you like to even play some of the music? She said, no, no, I'm just going to play live. I, because they can listen to my music otherwise anytime, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, of course. Another thing, you know, I've, I've learned about you from all our interactions and knowing you is that you spontaneously respond to life. You know, you actually allow life to lead you to the next step. You're mm. very good at the moment and, you know, mm. life unfold. But at the same time, I'd love to know, you know, if you have any exciting new plans for the future, any new mm. projects you're working on. Yeah, so I have a recording coming out um, actually next week. Oh, my God. On the 3rd of March. Okay. Uh, and this I've been working on for a long time. It started in 2019. Okay. Um, I was in Nashville recording and... Uh, it was meant to be done pretty quick, you know, but then uh, COVID hit and it threw all the plans up in the air and it just took a lot longer to get done with all the different musicians around the world and having to learn the technologies of sending here and there and all sorts of things. Um, so that's ready now. So that was recorded in the summer of 2019 and it will be ready um, 
next week. So that's very exciting. And that's five songs that I have, yeah. um, which is, I, I, I kind of want to say it's different to my other stuff, but I don't know whether it is. I feel like it is. It's, it's more pop. Um, it does have messages. Um, uh, one song, Eternal, for example, is talking about quantum physics and, and that kind of uh, belief system. Okay. Um, there's another one that's called Instagram, which is talking about the pressures of social media. Um, you know, it's a real mix. And also the sound of the music is real mix. You know, in one of the songs, I have a bit of beatboxing. So it's actually really exciting because I haven't done that. And, and it's, you know, it's, uh, as you say, you go with the flow. I mean, the last music that I Put out was called the river which is all very, very relaxing apart from one it's all very chilled relaxing you know meditation heal listen yeah. to fall asleep great and then this one i think is going to be more like i don't know you'll listen to it and you can all let me know what you think about this can new music <laughs> can we get a sneak preview into the new one i know it's not launched <laughs> yeah gosh do i remember anything um oh wow you put me on the spot i can't remember i haven't done my practice for this <laughs> For the launch. Why don't you put more videos online? Why don't you dress up looking mighty fine? Why don't you get with the program? Every day post pictures on Instagram. Make videos and show them all the time. Keep up with us or you'll get left behind Calculate what you want to say and do When someone asks me how many follow you I say I cannot put a number on hearts And I cannot put a number on souls If just one person is listening tonight my heart is filled with liquid light. <laughs> That's a little bit of the Instagram song. That was interesting. I wrote that um, when I was feeling, it was about three years ago, I was feeling this pressure of social media. Social media is such a weird force. It's amazing. I, you know, don't get me wrong, I love it. It is amazing, but there's something about it that is so kind of like, Oh my God, am I missing out? What, 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 what's happening? What do I need to do? How do I need to keep it? And, and time is speeding up and we're going so fast. It's like this feeling of missing out. I'm not there. I need to look good. I need to, do, and you know, people's like, do this, do that for your music, uh, post here, post there. And I was like, Oh my God, I don't want to do anything. Like leave me alone. I can't deal with this. And then I wrote this song as a kind of like sarcastic, uh, you know, just a playful thing about the, the pressure of social media that we feel. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I'm excited to get that one out. It has a very different feel, like you said, you know, like a pop feel. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. So you could, you could fall asleep to the other stuff and then when you need to wake up, you know, put this song on <laughs> or vice versa. It's very different. You know, all of your creations are very different. And honestly, Alexia, you know, I can't wait to bear witness to your new works, you know, even in the future. Mm. And I'd love, <clears throat> I'd really like to extend, imme extend immense gratitude to you, you know, for being oh, here. You for taking us on a journey that was fun, that was meditative, that was healing. And for me personally, you, both your presence and your music are truly honest. Mm. They're very uplifting. And, you know, I think you've had an immense impact and impression on each of us here in the audience today. So thank mm. you. And I'd love to thank hear. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jalpa, Sukirti and Rohit and everyone who's helped today. And also thank you to everyone there. I know I can see you're writing messages, but I can't reply or read them at the same time because, um, yeah, but I am so grateful for you being here and thank you. I'm kind of seeing a little bit of snippets of your, your messages and I, and I truly thank you for, for being part of this. Yeah. I think we're getting a lot of requests, especially some people that love your music. So there is a request for allowing. Ah, okay. Yes. And then yeah. there are other questions. We would love to take them if, uh, if that's okay with you. Yeah, let me... Um... Give me one second. Got to be ready with the papers. Got to be ready. <laughs> so I'll do a, a little piece of this. I'm allowing me to be me. I'm allowing. I'm 
To just be as it comes to me I'm shining brightly I'm allowing, easily allowing All my dreams to be In the right timing I'm allowing Me to be I'm allowing me to be me, to be free. Wow, that was just, I mean, people are saying they're blessed. I mean, the, the, the gratitude. And before we let you go, of course, people want to hear what's your favorite. So they want to hear something that's from your heart and what you would like to say. I love singing a song that I wrote called The River. That's my favorite to sing. So please, Shall do. I sing it? Or? Yes. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know if there was a question, like just to answer, or whether to sing all of it. But you know, it's quite long, so I won't sing all of it. Say that again. Yes, please do. They want to hear your favorite song. Shall I sing the whole thing, or shall I sing a little bit? The whole thing. The longer, the better. Okay. <laughs> is what I'm getting as feedback. Okay, I do love this song. When the river rushes down from the snow-peaked mountains Unleashes a roar so loud its presence is astounding doesn't stop to think where should I go it's just following its flow downstream downstream it doesn't think too much of where it should next go it's just following its flow downstream downstream I wonder Through the valley passes hamlets and rolling meadows Bringing life so vibrant to all that it touches Cause it just knows how it's meant to go It just knows how when it's time to show it doesn't think too much of where it should next go it's just following its flow downstream downstream I wonder can I be like the river I wonder Let your dreams live through you now Let them just rise into Kaya They're here for you to become Let it unfold, let it unfold See you emerging beyond Into true version your way your own unique expression 
Take a moment to see if I can flow just like that stunning river. Can I let go and trust so much as I walk through my unwritten journey? I watch it over and over again. I watch it flow. Carefree, carefree. I watch it not attached to any rocks or any reeds. It's just following its flow downstream, downstream. How wonderful can I be like the river? How wonderful. Can I be like the river? That was so beautiful. Wow. I really, Thank you. Thank you so I'm just you've delighted us all with all the listening. Your songs will live in our hearts and minds. Beautiful oh, lyric, Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Very soothing to hear you. Warming, soulful song. I'm just repeating what a lot of the the. Oh, thank you, thank you. Saying. Absolutely mesmerizing, and it has been truly, truly a treat to have you with us today. And I know there are some questions, but I'm in such a soulful place that I can't even go into Q and A right now. Yeah, that's fine. You know, and also, if you, if anyone has any questions, you know, you can get in touch. You know, contact me. Um, reach out you know we're, we're all just living life figuring it out so um i'm sure if you have any questions you want to know you can ask jalpa shukiti me we're, we're around you know <laughs> that was such a calming effect and i think i'm in such a beautiful beautiful zone with that i'd like to thank both you alexia and of course jalpa for this absolutely wonderful amazing evening jalpa any anything you'd like to add you know, uh, I, I'm just in this this field of love, and uh, you know, like I said, like I said, uh, you truly transport transported each of us so much gratitude. Oh, you're very welcome. It's been lovely talking to you, Jalpa. Yes, it's been lovely talking all through the you know while we put this together. So yeah. Thank you all. Thank you for this beautiful audience for holding space for such a lovely conversation this evening. And yes, uh, we we are always here. And uh, I think uh, Sipping Thoughts, uh, Humans for Humanity, and Cosmic Heart Gallery will always endeavor to bring you beautiful gifts from the world of art, sound, healing, and so many other worlds. Thank you. And a lot of you have been asking, yes, this will be available. It will be available on the Cosmic Heart Gallery page. It will be available on Sipping Thoughts. So yes, you can go back and listen to this. And with that, I, I mean, I, I I'm lost for words. I wish you know, you I just put the gallery mode on and I can see people. This is great. Hey, everyone. <laughs> I can see my mom there. Hey, mom. <laughs> so we wish you all. Oh, a hi, everyone. Wow. Oh, now I know who you all are. What a joy to see your faces. Thank you. Thank you for being here. We have people oh, here from so around much the world, Alexia. So many people, so many friends around, you know, they've set alarms. Uh, on the other part of the world and they're here to join us for the webinar. That's wonderful. Oh, so beautiful to see you all. It's, you know, it's one thing knowing you're there listening and it's another thing like seeing you all. It's really cool. <laughs> well, thank you. And with that, we wish you all a very blessed evening for today. And thank you once again, Alexia and Jalpa. Thank you. For